and welcome to the lighter side of real estate and you know we bring you all kinds of different things and no i'm not jeremy i don't have this cool accent but i'm here at united realty in their offices filming filling in for jeremy and i gotta tell you it's not just about real estate this world is about everything and being healthy is so so important with me is deborah tendridge Hello. and you are with Eat, eat better, better, live, live better. better. What is Eat Better, Live Better? Well, Eat Better, Live Better is a nonprofit that is fighting childhood obesity, where we actually transition an entire family into a healthy lifestyle through nutrition and healthy foods. Okay, so the parents can be, um, they're not, they don't necessarily have to be obese to be part of this transition. Actually, it's quite important to work as a team, otherwise, it, they'll sabotage the other. Correct. Okay. Why'd you get into this? So I actually was obese since I was seven years old. I was very overweight. I was, I had high cholesterol, and I ended up making the shift in my life to become healthier. And I saw I was inspiring a lot of people. I also have a daughter who had to make the change with me. Not only did she become more active and start liking healthy foods, but her behavior and her mood swings kind of went away when I took away the high sugar foods. And I decided I might as well go to the school system and talk to the kids. If I can get my daughter excited about eating right, then I can go ahead and get all these kids pumped up about <coughs> fitness and nutrition also. So I did this for a while, but then I realized that even if they are, these kids are excited about eating right and getting fit, they are still going home and they're still being fed the same groceries by their parents. So it, was, it almost felt like I was beating a dead horse. So I brainstormed about my transition and I created this program. It's like a cookie cutter version of what I did and made it so simple for these families now to transition as a unit instead of focusing on one or the other. Does it get more difficult when you have more than one child one is overweight, the others are not. <coughs> they all eat the same thing. And now you're taking away from all the kids in their own mind, even though they're eating better. And eating better doesn't mean eating food that you don't like. Correct. Okay? Eating better means just eating better food. It has flavor, it has taste. I'm a bad example because I eat all the garbage. Mm -hmm. But some people's metabolism works different than other people's when you get a family like that everybody has to be on board that is true the thing that you did say about body type a lot of people don't realize the effects that they can't see like diabetes high blood pressure cholesterol a lot of other problems are triggered by food even if you look fit you just might metabolize your food a lot faster and it might not show as fat. But uh, if you go to the doctor years later, all those years of eating unhealthy have played a big role in your health at that, at that time. How old is your daughter? She's seven. Okay, and you were seeing, were you seeing the same path that you were on when you were a kid in her? Yeah, except she is skinny. There is no amount of pizza and cake that she can't eat and she will not gain a pound. But I know over the years... <coughs> It'll come harder. It will, but besides that, um, when you shift the food into a healthy, into healthy eating, behavior changes too. Okay, so now my question becomes, she was eating a certain way, mm -hmm. you stopped it. Mm -hmm. Was she upset about it? It didn't matter. Parents need to realize that they are the parents and your kids do what you do. And a lot of times, fitness and nutrition actually will bring a, a family closer together. A lot of families will put family time on the couch watching TV. Or a lot of people actually, their family time is driving to the fast food restaurant and driving back because that's the only time they have while the mom's working, the, the kids are doing their homework, and the only time they have is that carpool to and from the fast food restaurant. But adding fitness and nutrition to your lifestyle creates a whole different dynamic in the house. Now they're cooking together healthy foods, they're taking grocery store trips together, they have family fitness time instead of couch potato time. So there's a lot of different things 
that fitness and nutrition can do to even bring the family closer together. And the kids might fight it for a few months because they don't want the broccoli or they might not want the chicken, but after a few months, they actually learn to appreciate it. I went through that with my daughter too. She wanted this, she wanted that, but now she loves it. <laughs> you, okay, so you said pizza and cake. Does she ever eat pizzas today? So <coughs> I'll, um, she'll come home from grandma's house you know, and I'll find Dorito bags <laughs> and chips <laughs> in her backpack. I don't buy them from my house. Parents can only control what they do. At school, at grandma's house, at friends' houses, you can only hope that what you teach them, they will carry out there, but chances are they will eat cake behind your back. <laughs> okay. But it, okay, so 90% of the time they're home, they're eating right. Is it terrible that they had a piece of cake at Grandma's house? It's not terrible. Um, they are... It's not terrible. Okay. But you just want them to know they can't overdo it. So, this is moderation, mm -hmm. but it's not a balanced moderation because you really need 85, 95% of the time to be eating right. Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> the other part becomes a treat. Do you ever eat a piece of cake? Be honest. <laughs> Sugar free. No. <laughs> um, actually, the cake is, you know, on birthday. So on okay. my birthday or my daughter's birthday, I will. She gets mad if I don't have a cupcake with her on her birthday. Right. So I do things like that. But before I do that, I spend two hours at the gym. Ah. And I make sure that I did my part to counteract the effects of that. And I drink a boatload of water afterwards you know I do a gallon a day but I know if I'm going to eat like that I have to have an extra couple bottles of water okay so you're sitting so I'll tell you the story <coughs> I cover the South Florida Fair and because we do crazy things when we're on the air I got my tattoo on the air well they came out with the Krispy Kreme donut burger mm. okay <laughs> so it's two burgers cheese onions tomatoes bacon uh, on a crispy, on two Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay. <laughs> so I went to taste it. It was really, really good. And I was talking to my doctor at the time, and I said, I ate it when I got to the fair, and I walked around the fair all day. He said, Wayne, you ate 3,000 calories, and you burnt off 140. Okay, there's really not a balance <laughs> there. Okay, there's not a balance there. Um, but the fair is the fair, and it comes once a year. And, you know, I tell people, they go and they have funnel cake on the fair, okay? And then they think, oh, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, and they'll go to Publix or Winn-Dixie or whatever and buy funnel cake mix. But it's never the same. Mm -hmm. Fair food is meant for the fair once a year, whatever. I have used to drink a ton of soda. Me too. I don't drink any soda anymore. I might have a ginger ale if my stomach's not feeling well. Mm -hmm. And if I'm drinking a soda, because I... I just need some sweet, it'll be a Sprite. It'll always be a white soda. It'll never be any colored soda because I know how bad they are for you. The other thing is, I because of what I do, I'm always running and I would stop, go through McDonald's, go through Burger King, go through one. If I eat fast food twice a month, it's a lot now. See, fast food restaurants to me, those are like curse words. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's funny to say because I went through <coughs> McDonald's, got a Big Mac. And I loved it. And then I was not feeling good the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had a Big Mac in, I haven't had a McDonald's in probably three months. Okay? So your body does adjust to those kind of things. If you had one tip to give a parent about their children and the kids eating, what would it be? Okay, so basically what you're teaching your kids now, they're going to carry with them for the rest of their lives. So if you instill these good behaviors and principles for health and nutrition, chances are when they go off to college and carry on with their families, they'll also keep those traditions and continue to live a healthy lifestyle. And in the long run, if they suffer for a few months because you decide to get healthy and that transition is worth it, it really is. You know, again, I don't think that what we're saying here is that you can't have a cookie or a piece of cake once a month or once a year it's it's 
the children come home from school and they're making noise and stuff. So to appease them, you take them to McDonald's so they can get poison, which is McDonald's fries. I don't think there's um, anything more poisonous than McDonald's fries. Um, or you give them a bag of potato chips or you give them <coughs> something that you toss in the microwave instead of giving them something that's healthy. And it, it, interesting what you said is that my daughter and my ex brought up my daughter. My daughter will go and open up a can of peas or carrots, even as a can, and sit in front of the TV when she was a kid and eat that, where most other kids would be eating pretzels, potato chips, and whatever. Uh, my daughter eats all kinds of vegetables. I grew up in a family where we weren't big vegetable eaters. So it's very, very difficult for me because I find the taste horrible. Okay, and I try, and I've gotten a lot better in some of the things I eat. Um, I would never eat spinach. I eat, sometimes I'll eat spinach ravioli. Okay, even though the ravioli part is not good. But you gotta <laughs> understand that it's not that it's healthy, it's acquiring the taste that I didn't like that's for like, so many years. <laughs> that's like this one lady, um, she told me the only time she eats bananas is when it's in banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> that's my kind of lady. <laughs> and I said, no. But, you know, that's why this program really works because I know it's not as easy as it sounds to change. So we simplify it. A lot of people don't know how or think it's too expensive to become healthy. So we made these families a 90-day nutritional plan. We actually show them how they can eat healthy on the same exact budget or less that they're eating unhealthy and teach them how to save them time. We can show them if they're taking medications for diagnosed medical problems that can be improved on proper nutrition, how we can take, tear them away from, from taking those medications by just with their nutrition. And we also take them to the grocery store with the food voucher and teach them how to read the labels. And just because something says healthy or natural and it doesn't mean it's good for you. All right, we're at the top of our time. How do people reach you if they want to get and learn more? So you can call at 678-428-3370. Go to the website at helpfamilieseat.org or email me at helpfamilieseat at gmail.com. I want to thank you for coming on. It was a pleasure. Everybody, you know, we only have one life. Do you want to make it healthy? You don't want to be in the hospital. You don't want to be sick. Okay? And there's so many ways to enjoy life by staying fit and staying healthy. With that, we'll be right back.